other Pisces, as you noted in my planetary activity, five planets at some point in time in April are, are retrograde. and This has been causing discord, disagreements, arguments. And with Mercury going retrograde, I believe April 9th, it will also be causing misunderstanding. And Venus is retrograde near sign until mid-April, so emotion-wise, you really have to stay under the radar. And I think more is going on right now with Venus retrograde in your sign. And let's see what's going on in, in your reading. The card on the bottom left for the base of your spine for sourcing and urgings. Receive the Hermit. His presence indicates your desire for change in your unconscious inner self. This is an unaccompanied leg of your life journey to seek the inner light of wisdom away from the distractions and influences of the outer world. You're seeking enlightenment from his lamp and guidance from his staff. One thing you have to remember when the hermit comes down the mountain is that he's required to share the knowledge and wisdom that he acquired. Now the clarification card is very similar. It's a meditative card, the Four of Swords. But here for the hermit, you're reviewing who you are and what you are. And for the Four of Swords, it's more about your purpose in life and where do you want to go. These two cards are in tandem, indicating that you're receding within and questioning a lot of things. Now the card above for the sacrum and pelvic for awakening and arousing receive death. This is just an evolution of your journey. You're transforming. Whatever you discovered with the Hermit and the Four of Swords has changed you. The Death card now has enveloped you and once it does, once it gets the handle on you, and the transformation can't be stopped. Fate leads the willing and drags the unwilling. Change is not your enemy. This is about calling things that are not serving you anymore. Now there's always a reason why you go into a transformation and you go into meditation and going within. You just don't wake up one day and go, well, I'm just going to do some soul searching here. Usually something triggers this and I believe the clarification card is saying that it's the Nine of Swords. Something happened and you might have some regret or remorse. But you're in some kind of morass. It's really bothering you. It's keeping you up at night. And, and this is what caused all of this change. Now the card above for the solar plexus received the King of Pentacles. He's the apex of wealth and health. And in your gut feeling, you're, you're seeing this happening. It, the King of Pentacles is going to be part of your life. You're maturing and seeing things differently. The King of Pentacles, even though he's good at making money, he certainly is not greedy. But when you do make money, it does bring luxury and comfort. But here the clarification card is the luxury and comfort of your life is going to be familial happiness or just happiness because you received the Ten of Cups. A glimpse of heaven over the rainbow of cups. The happiness card. The happiness card about emotions. And maybe the King of Pentacles is saying that this is more about well-being. But what's required of the Ten of Cups card is that you live a simple life. Honest. Sincere. And then you will have a happy life because complicated lives are never happy. Now the center card, for the heart of the matter, you see the seven of pentacles. You've 
worked really hard for something and it's almost to fruition. You're almost there. You're almost ready to harvest, but you haven't yet. And this is that tenuous time when something can happen and you won't receive the abundance for the fruit of your labors. You might get just wiped out. And so you have to be very vigilant at this time. Now the clarification card is the Six of Pentacles, so you go from Six to Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the Charity card. It's about learning to discern generosity versus enabling people. But this also has more of a cosmic meaning because you want the cosmos to be charitable to you. So that whatever you're building with the Seven of Pentacles does come to fruition, does come to some type of maturation. The card on the bottom right for your throat, for communicating and teachings, receive the Five of Cups, the card about many D words, despair, depression, despondency. And with Pisces being such an emotional, watery, sign you're up and down all the time and I think now you're back at the nine of swords feeling this remorse of some sort and you're back to being in a funk the cup is half empty instead of half full once again something probably happened to, to put you into this feeling of despair now the clarification card is the knight of pentacles he's the slowest knight in the court he just trots along and he's telling you to slow down. Take a look at things. You have happiness in your life. You're just not seeing it. Now up in the third eye for seeing and envisioning, got the three of cups. All of a sudden an epiphany came over you and now you understand. Yeah, you, you do have happiness and people are celebrating it. And so are you. You're celebrating this epiphany. And you're feeling really good about it. And the clarification card is the Six of Cups. It's a, cup, it's a card about moving on. You're not fleeing or escaping. Maybe some of you are. But here it is. It's just now that you've come to this realization, it's time to do the next thing. Go to the next challenges. Now up in the crown for understanding and knowing, receive the two of wands, the decision card. Now that you're moving on, it's time to make some new decisions. You have ideas and you're making plans, but nothing's really been indelible yet. You, you haven't, the wheels aren't going around yet. You're just in the planning stage. You've got the world in your hand and you're looking over the horizon and you have a lot of options. You have a lot of opportunities. And the clarification card is the Ace of Cups. An excellent card for Pisces for emotions and love. It's water. It's deep water, which can hold tranquility or turbulence. Now here you've got a decision to make. And here it's saying that you can manifest more deep emotions. But I want to say this really delicately because I believe... There's some rhetoric involved that you're trying to convince some people with your emotions that this is the right way to go. You know, you might have good intentions, but the end result could be more negative than you thought. And you haven't really thought through this. You're not manipulating people because, you know, you're, it's just that there could be a little naivety involved in your emotions. This is a new beginning, so you have to be really careful. And the past card, too, is the Ace of Wands, another new beginning. And the Ace of Wands is about inspiration and creativity. And so is the planet Neptune that rules Pisces. But then again, it can cause illusions and confusion. You have to be really careful on what you decide. Now here on the right for the future card, you receive the King of Swords. This guy is in control. 
He's got his feet on the ground. This path card is more about freedom of imagination, but sometimes you can't let illusions and confusion drive the boat. You have to let reason and logic take over. And this is what's going on is that imagination is fine, but if there's no personal control in the directions you're going with the decisions that you're having to make, nothing's really going to work out well. You're not going to find the abundance of the Seven of Pentacles. And you're going to have some overwrought emotions. The King of Swords is reminding you not to use emotions in your decision making. Use logic and intellect. Let's see what's going on in your reading. The center cards for present receive the Hierophant and the Hermit. Two major arcana cards for your present. That's some pretty strong cosmic energy. In reality the Hierophant is in the category of the nature of man and the Hermit's in the category of awakening. Kind of appears you've been searching around the house for some keys. Because the Hierophant has the two keys in front of him for the St. Peter's keys to heaven. And you're starting to question some of the traditional teachings that you've learned when you were younger. Actually the word Hierophant in Latin means to show or make known. And right now you're seeking some truths. Truths about how you fit into society in the big picture and how you fit into your own little microcosm. And the Hermit as the clarification card is saying that you have the desire to get in touch with your unconscious self. You're doing some inner self-discovery and you're pretty much taking yourself away from all the outside influences of the world to do some soul searching. The Hierophant has sparked this. You're looking for enlightenment from the light and the lamp and guidance from the staff in his hand. And the cards up above for your prospects is the Two of Swords and the Lover's card. The Two of Swords is about decisions, balance, partnership. And then again here you have the Hierophant and the Hermit and you're at a point in your life where you need to make decisions and all of a sudden the Two of Swords shows up. Okay, big decision to make. But the Two of Swords is about making a difficult decision because there's opposing forces that are hitting you face on. With her arms crossed over her heart chakra, she's indicating this is a difficult decision. And here the Lover's card is actually about decisions too. You might think that funny, but it is. It's about decisions to make harmonious relationships. Good decisions between vice and virtue. And this doesn't have to be with a lover. It can be with family and friends. Any type of mutual bonding, companionship. Now the past cards, you receive the devil and the three of wands. And he goes, oh, bummer, man, I got the devil. Well, yeah, okay. You know, maybe there was some kind of bondage going on. You were restrained. It could be addictions, denials, overdoing something, ignoring a lot of things. But you woke up from that because you have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is about motion and movement. You've made some plans and you're going forward. It's indicating maybe you're moving away from the devil. And this means freedom. You're emancipating yourself. And I think here the devil and the hierophant are connected. There's some type of thing going on that all of a sudden you made a realization that things had to change. And you had to change some of your beliefs and your belief system. That threw you into the hermit and the decision cards up above. Now down below for your problems, you receive the Ace of Pentacles and you think, oh yeah, fates of fortune and offers, offers of value and opportunities. But the clarification card is the Five of Swords. There was some type of arguing, conflict going on. 
it was to the point where people didn't even want to deal with it anymore. They just threw their swords down and walked away. Now, I don't know if that's you or you were the one that was causing the conflict, but something went awry. I mean, you were given new opportunities with the Ace of Pentacles, but the conflicts that ensued from this stopped your progress. And then I pulled another clarification, and you got the Two of Swords again. So in your prospects, you received the Two of Swords, and down here you received the Two of Swords. And it's saying, yeah, you have a decision to make. That There was some opposition going on. You were given new opportunities. And things are changing. And now you have to change with it. Even though this is a hard and difficult decision, a decision has to be made. You have to realize... Not making a decision is a decision in itself. It might sound paradoxical, but it, it's a conundrum. Now up on the right, for your possibilities, or your possibilities for prosperity, you receive the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. All of a sudden you're in the emotional category. Emotion and love. Maybe this is connected to the Lover's card. The King of Cups is about balancing his unconscious and conscious self. Seeing both sides of it. You know, there can be tranquil or turbulent waters underneath emotions. And you have to control these emotions. And he's the king of emotional control. He's now mastered his passionate emotional self. And this is what it's indicating to you that... You have to get a grip on your emotions and start using logic with emotions to make your decisions because somewhere in all of this, there's been some difficult decisions going on. Now, the clarification card is the Three of Cups. It's time to celebrate. If you learned your lesson, was able to make a good decision while controlling your emotions, you definitely will be heading towards success. And I wish you peace, acceptance, and happiness.